Hi guys, Mark here. Well, we're here again at Crescent Suzuki here in Bournemouth in the south of England and today we've got the all new 2021 Suzuki Hayabusa. Stay tuned and I'll give you my thoughts on it. Well, welcome along today guys to a review on the all new 2021 Suzuki Hayabusa and as always very kindly loaned to me by the guys at Crescent Suzuki here in Dorset in the south of England. So lots to talk about on this bike so you may want to go make yourself a cup of tea. Uh, we'll just run around it uh, in the usual fashion talking about all the specs and then we'll go for a test ride. So price these are coming in at £16,499 got the ferociously powerful 1340cc liquid cooled inline 4 double overhead cam Euro 5 motor producing a whopping claimed 187 horsepower at 9700 rpm and we've got a stump pulling 150 newton meters of torque at 7000 rpm so it's lost a few of the horsepower at the top this year but it's actually gained more in the mid-range so it's actually better for everyday use it actually feels even stronger in the uh, in the mid-range got a nice comfortable good for touring narrow at the front seat which is 800 millimeters tall just have a look at me on the bike i'll put a cut scene in for you i'm only five foot seven tall with a 30 inch inside leg but you'll see i can very easily get my feet flat to the floor with knees slightly bent So fuel tank on these, 20 litres, you should get between 40 and 45 miles per gallon with normal riding, a uh, range of over 150 miles. Weight, these are coming in at 264 kilos, excellent tyres on these, Bridgestone Battleaxe Hypersport S22. Got a 120 on the front and a 190 on the rear. Must admit those are the biggest exhausts I think I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I think I'd change those for a, a nice pair of Yoshimura or something like, like that. So these hair boosters, they first came out in 1999. They were quickly billed as the world's fastest production motorcycle with speeds up to 200 mile an hour. And had another update in 2008. So the top speed on this is limited to 186 mile an hour. Got LEDs all round. Nice stacked headlight there. Whole host of electronics on this now. I'm really glad they've stuck with the kind of the traditional analog Hayabusa clocks with the traditional speedo and rev counter. We'll go into that a bit later on. But there's all your Suzuki drive mode, power mode, traction control. So much there, it's incredible. See, for this year we've now got cruise control, which is really, really good for a sports tourer. We've got fully adjustable KYB front forks upside down. Two year warranty on these. Brembo Stylema brakes offering incredible power and feel and you definitely need it on a bike of this performance. 7,000 miles service interval on these, so that's really good. 
and this comes with Suzuki's intelligent ride system or SIRS as they call it with the six axis IMU You've got Suzuki's drive mode selector A, B and C A is active, B basic and C is comfort You've also got three user defined modes that you can change how you like Got motion track brake system traction control so new for this year we've got a quick shifter on it now which has two modes as well we've got three power modes mode one being the most aggressive we've got a 10 mode anti-lift anti-wheelie and a three mode engine braking hill hold the list goes on and on doesn't it got slope dependent braking control and a three mode launch control for all you drag racers so I'm sure you'll agree guys that's a pretty phenomenal motorcycle okay let's do the test ride okay Suzuki Hayabusa let's do this God, you can never be anything other than totally impressed when you flip a leg over one of these so um let's just have a look at this dash while we're just stationary here it's got the really nice sort of conventional analog uh, rev counter and speedo fuel gauge and temperature gauge nice new for this year tft showing you your suzuki drive mode power mode traction odometer range you can also scroll through to show it all your trips you can also change this TFT to show you like how much throttle and braking and, and lean you're doing. That comes up down the sides, but I'll just leave it like that for now. So um, all the controls guys, we've got a span adjustable clutch, hydraulic clutch, super smooth. All your flashers, high and low beam, indicators, horn. Got your mode button to change all your modes, up and down, cruise control, set and resume. Fully adjustable front forks span adjustable front brake lever engine start and stop and kill cruise control button hazards ride by wire throttle uh, no, no electronic suspension on this but I say it rides like an absolute it's got like a magic carpet ride on this so fire up Whoa. goodness me so it's got that unmistakable booster feel about it, massive engine. You can really feel that 180 odd horsepower down there. Okay, let's do this. So nice for this year, we've got a quick shifter. Very smooth hydraulic clutch. It does bite right on its furthermost travel. So straight off, really, really smooth. It's all about the grunt with this bike. Huge amount of power from the bottom end. Whoa. <laughs> and I think the first thing that strikes you when you ride one of these is just how magic carpet smooth the ride is. It feels so stable. You know, a, a bomb could go off and this thing wouldn't wobble. It's so weighted. You know, I know like the uh, Fireblades and the S1000RRs are more agile, but this is just so weighty and planted, it's fantastic. So again, kindly loaned to me by the guys at Crescent Suzuki. So um, really nice that the quick shifter works well from first to second, second to third. It's not at all snatchy. It's about as good as you can get in the world of quick shifters. So obviously guys, you know, this the performance of this bike is, you know, you really need a racetrack or a runway to fully exploit it, but we're just gonna ride it under normal conditions. Not too quick. Just talking about how the bike fares in everyday use. Mirrors about average I can see a lot of my elbows 
But if I just tuck them in a bit, get a good view of the road behind, and they're very, very clear, no vibrations or anything. So I'm just using the downshifter now, auto blipper, and it is absolutely fab. I don't think you could get much better. pull and the drive from low down and through the mid-range is absolutely out of this world so far the engine is like butter smooth next to no vibrations whatsoever ride quality as I said earlier it's just like a magic carpet guys it's it's just so smooth some see what the Hayabusa is like in town, check the fueling, see what it steers like. Obviously it's not its natural habitat but there's going to come a time when you're having to go through town. So we're just in second gear now, just purring along. Just under 2,000 revs, absolutely faultless fueling, no snatchiness, no hunting or surging in the fueling. All feels immaculate, incredibly smooth as you'd imagine. So for such a big bike, it's quite heavy, it feeds its way through traffic very easily. It's into third gear now, 30 mile an hour, 2000 RPM. Again, just it's like witchcraft, the fueling, it's so smooth. There's absolutely no kind of hunting at all. Some of these Euro 5 bikes can be a bit sort of fluffy at low revs. Just put it into fourth and fifth, see if it'll hold that at 30. Yeah, there you go, fifth gear, just under 2,000 RPM. And it pulls really cleanly at this sort of a uh, speed. Down to fourth. Yeah. All feels very, very happy at this sort of speed. So there you go, guys. The Hayabusa's okay in town. So the stability obviously is a given, it's a very heavy bike, it feels absolutely solid and planted as a rock. Just try the cruise control out. There we go, 60 mile an hour, hands free, very easy to use, that's all good. So we're currently in power mode 1 of three, traction control one and the throttle response is very instantaneous it's not snatchy at all don't worry about that I have tried power two and three and they're just a bit softer but one is absolutely fine right we'll just try a brake test out full front brakes oh, wow Good God. And I see that it does the same as what Hondas do. It flashes the uh, rear, LED, rear LED indicators. So third gear, guys. Full throttle. Whoa, blimey. Oh. Absolute rocket ship. It's like being strapped to an Exocet missile. So looking at that dashboard there, it's an absolute joy to look at. Fuel gauge, revs, TFT screen, speedo and temperature gauge, really nice. That brake feels good, lots of bike there. But even though it's a big bike, you can really hustle it around the bends. It's just its stability is incredible. Okay, so we're on a dual carriageway now. Just gonna try out the uh, cruising ability of the Hayabusa. Got the cruise control set. Just around 70 miles an hour, and we're doing just under 4,000 RPM. Absolutely amazing. Um, absolutely no vibrations through the bars, seat, or the pegs. Wind blast, again, it's hitting me in the chest. All very acceptable, all very sort of smooth smooth wind it's not turbulent but it's just the sheer planted feeling of this bike 
you just can't convey it so we just wind open a bit in top whoa obviously it just flies even in top gear uh, I've been on this bike for well over an hour now even though it's a sporty position I'm finding it very comfortable at the higher speeds there's not too much weight on your wrists legs are tucked up nicely uh, I think if you were a really tall guy say six foot four or something like that you may be sort of really up quite high and you might even sort of struggle to see the clocks a bit because if I go up a bit I can't really see the clocks so I'm only five foot seven but all in all guys a very very impressive sports tourer always has been so it's a highly entertaining ride this it's got more power than you ever need we'll just drop the gears down a couple just to get the revs up a bit so we're at 70 bar an hour now we're at 6,000 revs again the slightest tiny bit of buzz coming through the pegs but all in all very very smooth so guys as expected the Hayabusa is absolutely amazing for high speed cruising so also blipper fantastic in fourth gear at the moment yeah I mean it, it gets past with just a whiff of throttle so the riding position obviously this is a sports bike it's quite a lot of weight on my wrist so I'm leant forward quite a bit have a look at me in the cutscene at the beginning but once you're sort of riding at this sort of speed the screen is quite low and it's chucking quite a bit of wind at my chest just below my chin so it's kind of keeping the weight off my wrists the seat comfort is very nice very plush very padded and the legs are tucked up sporty position but all in all it's a very nice comfy sports touring position pretty much you know typical Hayabusa nothing much has changed really it's just that thrust of that engine is marvellous quality of the suspension really good obviously it's not electronic but we've got quality KYB front forks and a rear preload adjustable rear shock all very very nice probably about as good ride quality as you're ever going to get I would say so we're just in third gear guys just pouring on the power through that bulging mid-range whoa the speedo just flies up it's got to be so careful with one of these to keep your license so at this sort of speed so stable it's just incredible all right we'll just wrap it up guys have a final little walk around this beauty what it's like into first and neutral first gear neutral easy first neutral yeah I mean Suzuki make the pretty much the best gearboxes ever and this one's no exception let you hear the sound take you to have a look at that dash while we're here 
excellent decent side stand that's nice right what's this like off the side stand to push around so it's not too bad I mean it's a big old weighty bike 260 odd kilos and you've got to really manhandle it and it's not too bad to push around in your garage you've just got to really make sure you tell it you're the boss keep a good firm hand of it yeah that's okay no problem All right, let's have a little walk around, shall we? So there's your LED stacked headlights, sort of integrated LED indicators. Wow, that's a beast, isn't it? What are your thoughts, guys? Have you got a Hayabusa? You're going to get this new one? Have you got an earlier model? What, what's your thoughts on these uh, hyper bikes? Okay, if you wouldn't mind posting all your comments down below as always, always like to read them. Please give me a like, share and share and subscribe as always. Catch you again next week on another bike review. Take care guys, all the best, ride safe, bye for now.